Tim Albright with Aviation with the Infocom 2019 special. What we're doing is we're interviewing the exhibitors coming to the show floor uh, June 12th to the 14th. The entire show is June 8th to the 14th. The actual show floor itself is the 14th, or the 12th to the 14th. With me today to talk about um, Nexus Link is Richard uh, Castrej. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Tim. Good to be here. Uh, you guys are in booth number 4287, 4287. Uh, so just kind of briefly, uh, we walk into uh, the uh, the Nexus Link uh, show floor, the, show, the booth itself. Uh, you guys are going to be talking about power line technology, but some other stuff. So what are we going to find in the booth? So at the booth today, you're going to see Nexus Link's new product lines with Jira Digi and power line adapters. So talk about power line. That, that is actually the, the, one of the main things you guys are, are talking about and, and showing uh, in the booth. Explain to folks if they're not familiar what exactly power line is. Sure. So typically when an installer needs to connect an internet device, they would like to use an ethernet cable running from the network all the way to the internet device. Unfortunately, unless the property is pre-wired with ethernet cable, or in the case where the ethernet cable is actually not run to the ideal location, they're not going to be able to connect those devices. Now, mind you, no one will argue that ethernet is the best way of connecting your internet devices, but likely it is not an option in a residential application. Secondarily, people will go ahead and fall back to Wi-Fi or wireless. Although wireless is an easy way of doing it, it usually isn't the best way to do it. There are too many factors that are involved from building materials to interference from other wireless devices, things like that, that cause wireless to not have the performance necessary to support HD video. That's where Powerline comes in. Powerline technology uses the existing power line within the property to bridge the gap between the, e the internet device and the network. Um, bypassing things like building materials, subfloors, things like that make the power line solution a really good solution for those implementations where wireless isn't getting it done and ethernet cable just isn't available. So, so but you, you, you correct me if I'm wrong here, so you're using the actual electrical, electrical um, infrastructure inside the house to, to get the internet to, to from point A to point B, kind of, you know, uh, augmenting what, where wireless isn't able to get there. Um, this is not, you, you, you guys have some competitors in the market, so, so what makes Powerline solution different than, than some other uh, options? Well, today's power line is very different from the power line that many of our customers are familiar with. The older HPAV technology had many um, problems, mostly with utilizing both phases of the electrical grid or trying to leverage the, uh, the ground wire ineffectively. So for Nexus Link, we are utilizing a new standard called G.HN. G.HN standard uses a lot of um, kind of cool algorithms and uh, unique features uh, that Max Lanier has come up with to um, kind of overcome all of the shortcomings that HPAV had. Uh, it'll jump panels, it'll jump phases. Um, it has uh, some really cool uh, algorithms that uh, allow it to predict interference and adjust for it on the fly so that you get a much better connection, a much more stable connection uh, with today's power line than you did with power line that was, say, even available, you know, within the last two or three years. Hmm. Okay. You use a terminology there that I'm not familiar with. What is HPAV technology? Uh, HPAV was the previous standard for power line. Okay. So that's pretty much the predominant power line uh, technology that is in the market today, just because it came out, uh, I don't know, about 10 years ago. So, but again, G.HN took everything that we learned from the shortcomings of HPAV and was able to create a better standard that meets our needs today. Oh, very cool. Um, Nexus Link is showing more products as well. What, what would you guys say is, what would you say is your most unique product in the bill? Well, <sighs> One of the great things about Nexus Link is that we have a wide variety of products. Uh, we have Ethernet products, um, we have Ethernet products with PoE integrated into it, and uh, we have uh, Ethernet product, I'm sorry, uh, GDI Gen products that have uh, uh, Wi-Fi built into it. So if you're looking for Ethernet connectivity or PoE or wireless, uh, Nexus Link has got you covered. But realistically, I believe the coolest product that we have coming down the pipe right now is the G.HN uh, unit that has the integrated four port switch. 
Um, mm. This product was purpose built for installers to allow you to have a single unit behind a home entertainment center that would allow you to connect, say, a television, um, a gaming console, a receiver, a streaming box, or anything like that. So that instead of having to install a GHN device plus a switch, this unit itself has a four port gigabit switch built into it. And turn that around for a second because I want people to see that you, it, you're just plugging that into the wall. That is correct. So basically, you would take um, a single unit that um, that you would plug this into, say, near the gateway or your network switch, and then you would take this unit anywhere within the same power grid, plug it in, and the units will find themselves over the electrical wire within the building. That is amazing. Uh, you talked about a couple of different times about PoE. Uh, PoE is becoming more and more uh, prevalent and actually important. Uh, within the residential markets, um, how can can Power how can Nexus Link help folks? Um, you know, kind of, I, I guess, bring a value add to their system and to the the power line systems. Well, the typical application of PoE is to um, provide both power and data to a device uh, remote from uh, the network switch. Um, this cuts down on the need to have local power at the device, um, mm -hmm. but you still have to have the uh, the connectivity. Um, the great thing about the uh, PoE product uh, in Powerline is it allows you to leverage the existing power grid to bridge the gap in between the network equipment and the actual PoE device. So instead of having to run a wire directly from the switch all the way out to, say, an IP camera or an access point, you could utilize a Powerline adapter near the uh, network equipment and then simply use a PoE Powerline adapter uh, to an outlet that is in reasonable proximity of the camera or the access point. So you're utilizing the electrical infrastructure of the property to bridge the bulk of the gap, and then you would just simply run a cable from the PLC uh, directly to, say, the access point or the uh, IP camera. And the different product lines that you have, the, the PoE specifically, uh, is, it, is it PoE, is it PoE plus, 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 what, what, what is the range there? So uh, our Wave 1 solution is PoE. And our Wave 2 solution is a 30 watt PoE Plus. Uh, okay. Additionally, our Wave 2 solution has uh, dual gigabit ports at the bottom so that you can connect, uh, say, two cameras or a camera and a phone or uh, an access point and a camera. Um, a lot of the, our installers enjoy the two ports because uh, there are many cases that you would actually install two cameras within very close proximity to each other, whether they're uh, shooting off a corner of a building or splitting down a hallway. So having two cameras in close proximity uh, happens a lot. And so our customers requested a unit that had uh, two ports versus a single port. Right, very good. Uh, Richard, not everybody's going to the show. Again, the uh, Intelcom itself is the 8th through the 14th. The show floor is the 12th through the 14th. You guys are in booth number 4287. If somebody is not going, but they want to find out more about Nexus Link, how do they do that? Um, they should visit our website. They can go to www.nexuslinkusa.com. From there, they can see all of our product lines and they can follow us on our social media. Right, very good. Richard from Nexus Link, thank you so much, sir. Again, they are in booth number 4287, 4287. You can go by and see Nexus Link for us, for AV Nation. You can go by our website, avnation.tv. That's avnation.tv as we also head to Orlando for Infocom 2019, the 12th through the 14th of June, including a visit with the folks at uh, Nexus Link. All that and more at avnation.tv. That's avnation.tv. Thank you.